All right, today we're back with our modified Xbox. This is one I, one of my few I still have for sale. And if you notice, my TV is a little cut off. When you get an Xbox, you're gonna wanna adjust your settings. I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do that. If you notice, see how it's a little cut off, it's not correct. So what you do is you press this little white button here. That's the wrong one, I'm wrong. It's, sorry, this black button right here. This is our menu. You wanna go to where it says settings. You're gonna press A on your controller and you're gonna go over to the appearance option. So this is a few things you can do. This is where you can change the language if you want, but if you go to display, you can actually adjust your resolution. So if you wanna do, if you have a TV that supports 1080, you have 480p, NCS, you have an auto, you have a 720, but the main thing you wanna do is the thing called video calibration. Press A on video calibration, and this is where you're gonna to wanna to use your controller to set it up with your TV. See how I'm moving over? I'm moving it over. You're gonna to wanna to line, see, you wanna see this line here? You wanna line it up with your TV. So I'm pressing over, 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 over. So I'm lining it on my TV. So you wanna get this lined up with your TV. And then when you're done, you press next. And now you wanna line up the the top part. See how so I'm moving the top part here? Up and down. You wanna line this up with your TV. See where it says minimum, maximum size. Basically line it up. It's super easy. But you wanna make sure that your Xbox fits your TV. We want it there. You press A. And you can adjust this as well, left and right. You can set your size. I pretty much only do the front two. Once you do that, we hit back. Now let's look. Remember how it was all cut off, we couldn't see? Now we can see it says select. It's just that simple. You usually wanna reboot it and we'll fix it. You can adjust your resolution that way. That is the best way to adjust your resolution for your XBMC for gamers. And you notice it's orange, because it's modified. You can do a lot of cool stuff in the settings. Like I said, it's the black button here. And go through your settings, make sure everything's how you want it to be. You have your file manager, you have music, you have network playback. You can do a lot of really cool stuff here um, under the options. And then don't forget, you can also run scripts from here as well. You can change your home screen. So let's say you also want to boot. In, I have a boot to the root directory. You can actually change this to boot into your games directory. So if you were to hit A and then watch me hit back, now when it reboots, it will boot into our game directory. So let's go ahead and real fast, I'm going to stop. I'm going to do our normal reset. Remember how to reset when you want to exit or get back? You have one finger on this black button and left trigger, and one finger on the right button and this black trigger to reboot. I'll show you right now. So I just did a quick reboot on the Xbox. It's gonna go back and load XBMC. We're gonna wait for it. As you see, XBMC for gamers is reloading. We, that's, that's what you do to exit games and to get out, you do a soft reboot. It should come back and boot into the game directory. Let's see if I'm a liar. Instead of booting to the root, it should boot into the game directory. Let's see if I did good. It also can take a little longer to boot because this has 400 games. Boom, we did it. So that was some of the few quick tricks you can do with your XBMC for gamers on your modified Xbox. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.